What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be bringing you guys a Dragonite Series 2 team that was actually used to push rank 1 on the ladder. You guys are in a deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But like I already mentioned, this is a rank one team and I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator. We'll be leaving this link down in the description below to all of its social media pages and the Poke Pace will be down there as well. So again, huge shout out and congratulations for getting rank one with this team. But we got Iron Bundle in that top left hand corner to get us started here with today's team preview. Quirk Drive and the Booster Energy as its item and ability. Hydro Pump, Freeze Dry, Icy Wind, and Protect. The absolute best move set for any Iron Bundle. Second Pokemon is going to be Dragonite. We obviously have seen less usage of Dragonite in Series 2, but it is still top tier. It has Inner Focus, the Assault Best as its item, and it's rocking Dragon Call, Terra Blast, Extreme Speed, and Ice Spinner for its move set. Third Pokemon is going to be Golden Go over here. And Golden Go, this one's a little weird. Not, not for the sense of its move set, but for its item. Covert Cloak on a Golden Go. And I cannot figure out why there is a Covert Cloak on this Pokemon, considering it has good as gold already as its ability. And it is Ghost type, so it can't be flinched. A little weird. A little weird, but I know there's a reason behind it. I know there's a reason behind it, but I hopefully I'll figure it out soon. This one has everything else normal, good as gold as its ability. Make it rain, Shadow Ball, Nasty Pot, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Volcarona over here. And Volcarona has got Flame Body and Leftovers. I feel as Volcarona is a really good support Pokemon, especially with the Flame Body ability. If you're going up against physical attackers, you can just pop like a Rage Powder, but this one doesn't have it. But still, you can get some burns on them, kind of go from there. This one has Heat Wave, Bug Buzz, Quiver Dance, and Protect. Bottom left hand po Pokemon is going to be Mouse Hold. And Mouse Hold, just like Dragonite, is another Pokemon that you're seeing less on the Series 2 ladder, but is still very strong at the same time. This one has Friend Guard, the Safety Goggles as item, Super Fang, Follow Me, Baby Doll Eyes, and Protect for its four moves. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be another Paradox Pokemon. It is going to be the Great Tusk with Protosynthesis and the Focus Ash as its item. It's got Headlong Rush, Close Combat, EQ, and Protect, an amazingly strong moveset, and you're pretty much guaranteed to get off a shot considering you have Focus Ash on this Pokemon. Guys, if you want to rent the team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to grab some wins with this Series 2 Dragonite team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a pretty strong team. They got Fluttermane, they got Iron Bundle, and Great Tusk. Also rocking with Murkrow for support, Magazone, which is a solid special attacker, and Golden Goat, which is just like Magazone, another solid special attacker. But how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I feel like our Iron Bundle is going to play a big role in this battle, so I kind of want to lead it. I go for Speed Control, I can go for some big damage. I kind of like it all around. So I'm going to bring in my Iron Bundle for a lead, and I might also bring Dragonite. Do I lead Dragonite, or do I just bring him? Hmm. Tough questions, tough questions. I might, I might lead Dragonite. Look at that team. I might lead the Dragonite. We do have to watch out for Fluttermane. Fluttermane could be a problem. So we could end up leading our lovely little Golden Go. Golden Go would not be bad here either. I kind of like it. And I could set up a Nasty Pot turn one too if I want to. I'm pretty much all about it. What do we got with you? What do we got rocking with you? We got Follow Me, Super Fang. Okay, I kind of like this Pokemon as well. I don't like that Pokemon as well, but you know what? I'm going to go Golden Go for lead. I'm going to go Dragonite in the back end, and then last but not least, I think Great Tusk is going to be solid, especially with that Focus Ash. Any Focus Ash Pokemon is solid in the back ends for 1v1 situations. You know, it can, it can guarantee you soaking up a shot, you get off some big damage, and Great Tusk is perfect for that situation, considering its moves are incredible. It has Stab Close Combat, which is base 120, Stab Headlong Rush, which is base 120, and then it has a double base hitting move for base uh, 100. It's insane. It is insane. But they're gonna end up leading the Iron Bundle and the Flutterman, so I don't mind this. Do not mind this, and I had the shiny, the shiny Deli Deli Bird. That I adore. So we got shiny, shiny Deli Bird here. Chilling here. Speed's heightened too, so I can Icy Wind freely. And I could pop and make it rain if I want to. And I think I'm gonna do that, because Deli Bird probably has Focus Ash. And if I had to guess, Fluttermane has. Uh, what's it called? Fluttermane has half to have the Life Orb, I think, right? Surprise, none of them has boost, Booster Energy. Which makes me think that their uh, their great tusk has to boost their energy. But we'll see what our opponent wants to do here. Considering I know my Deli Bird's gonna be able to outspeed. So I should get actually I don't know. If both these Pokemon are minus one, can my golden go outspeed? That's a tough question, because these Pokemon are really, really fast. And even with minus one, we might not even be able to uh outspeed. But they're just gonna hard swap the Flutter Man, which is totally fine. Deli Bird's chilling in here. And they're going to throw out Golden Go of their own, so that's a smart swap from them. But they're going to also Terrasilize. 
And what typing are you to ask Lysa into? Straight water? This could be a great play for him. Really good play for him. Fighting. Okay. Straight fighting. I mean, I don't mind that. Kind of confused with what you're going for. I think you're trying to take out my deli bird. But it's all good. We're going to slow you guys down a little bit. And we shouldn't get after the battle that way. So we make them both minus one, which is huge. I guess that's what the Cobra Cloak's for, for the goal to go. It's just to do that. But we chip up some damage onto that, uh, onto that deli bird. I go minus on my special attack. And he's just going to go for a straight Terror Blast into my deli bird, correct? Yeah. A straight Terror Blast into deli bird. Probably KOs, right? Yeah. Picks up the KO. We are not sashed. I mean, that's fine. They're both minus one. I can start bringing out my other Pokemon. Kind of getting after the battle that way. And who do I go into here? Do I just go into you? I could just rip in with uh, Dragonite. Going with you too. You're not too. You're not too shabby here either. But I'd rather save uh, Tusk for the back end. So I, from here, I am gonna go into my boy Dragonite. The Dragonite's E Speed can KO, no problem. I could also Terrasilize, but I'm not gonna show my Terry yet because I know E Speed can kill. Actually, we should up outspeed that thing, don't we? You should outspeed because Golden go outsped him. So 108. Actually, you might not. You might have to go for an E Speed. I think you have to go for an E Speed. <laughs> You have to go for an E-Speed. So I'm going to E-Speed, look for the KO. And I'm just going to go for the Shadow Ball into this slot, considering Golden Go cannot Terrasilize. I think that's fine. So he ends up withdrawing Deli Bird. That might be a smart play, going into Fluttermane here. And then I will Terrasilize if you go into Fluttermane. Then you go into Murkrow. Okay, so he's looking to get some speed control. He's going to protect the Golden Go, which is a rather smart play. And I've got a hard swap here. What do I do here? E-Speed's going to fire, chip up some nice damage. And, huh. It's a player because you're obviously going to tail. I think Tailwind's an absolute must to come out here. I could Ice Spinner and KO you. Definitely Tailwind. Definitely Tailwind. And you know, I'm just going to go for the Shadow Ball here if we can pull this off. This battle. Mm, I don't know how to feel about this battle. Tailwind does come out here. Golden Ghost is going to go first. If I had to guess he's propping a Shadow Ball of Zone, but that was a great play by him. Oh, he's still out speed. That's lovely. That is huge. That is lovely. We don't pick up the KO, but still, outspeeding that is huge. Shadow Ball is going to come in here. Can we eat this one up? We cannot. So our Shadow Ball, because we were minus one, does not pick up the KO, but his Shadow Ball just rips into me. Kind of hurts, but I don't think we're sitting bad. That thing's orb, so one more shot, the thing will kill itself. And Ice Spinner's going to come out here and pick up the KO? Yeah. Okay. So we have E Speed for the Deli Bird, but I think he throws out Fluttermane here. I do think he throws out Fluttermane. We can go freely EQs here, considering we have Great Tusk, and I don't really mind doing that. Great Tusk is rather fast, too. If it is faster than Golden Go, that could be good for us, because I could prevent their Golden Go from getting off shot. But I'll see what he wants to do. And out comes the Deli Deli. The Deli Deli comes out here. I'm not going to show my Terror type just yet. I do not want to show my Terror just yet. But we can E speed, and I think we can finish off that Pokemon. But I want to see Great Tusk's speed here. Please show me that you are faster than Golden Go. You are. That 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 lets me know that Great Tusk outspeeds their Golden Go. And that's really big for us. That's really big for us. So I can go into an E speed here, and then I can just freely pop an EQ. So I'm all about this. I'm hoping the E speed KOs. That's what I'm really hoping. So he, he just goes for the Force Withdrawal. That was kind of dumb. And we get off a free EQ. That was actually really dumb. So he goes into Fluttermane just to dodge that. But again, we get off a free EQ. That's fine. That's fine. That swap's fine with me. Great Tusk outspeeds. We're going to be able to chip up some damage. And now I'm going to Thrasilize into... Do I Thrasilize into Flying here? That's a real question. Wow, that's some big time damage. Because I have Focus Ash here too. I do indeed have Focus Ash. I do indeed have Focus Ash. So I wonder who I should Thrasilize. Probably the Dragonite, right? Dodge the Ice moves. Actually, Ice will still be super effective onto us, but dodge the fairy moves, more importantly. Again, he still doesn't know that we have Focus Ash. He still has no idea. But I think Terrasilizing you and just popping the E-Speed could be the play. And then for you, just popping the EQ across the board. But I think Deli Bird might protect. And if it does protect, I still think we're thriving here, considering we have EQ flying. Oh. See what they want to do. We shall see what they want to do. But not a bad battle. I feel like that battle was actually really, really close and not in our favor until he did that weird hard swap with the Fluttermane and the Deli Bird right there and allowed me to get off that EQ. It just allowed me to do damage to Fluttermane. So E Speed's going to fire his KO. It does. And that's game, set, and match. See you later. Nice knowing you. 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. Great way to start off today's vid uh, video. But yeah, I feel like our opponent had the upper hand a little bit up until this Pokemon. They did a hard swap on it. That was like the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It was just like a, a weird hard swap. I would have just let my Delibird die and then use my Fluttermane with full HP. But I'll take the win. I'll take it all day. We end up sending the EQ. We take out the Fluttermate. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 1-0 to get us started. We're hopping into our second match. Going up against a T-Tar and Sandrush Houndstone team with Ancient Tusk or Great Tusk. I always get those names mixed up. And then Iron Bundle, Golden Go, and Talonflame. So we can set up speed with uh, Talonflame. And I'm kind of worried about that a little bit. Considering this team doesn't have too much speed control. But it's still very good all around. It really is. I could go into my my mouse hold this battle because mouse hold's not bad, especially with the baby doll eyes, lowering that special or lowering that physical attack. And he has a few physical attackers on the field. You got the T Tar, they got the uh, the Great Tusk, they got the Talon Flame. That's not too bad. That is not too bad. I could also go into Deli Bird because Deli Bird's just the man, and I love this Pokemon. And I could kind of just start taking speed control that way. It's very fast. It is a very fast Pokemon. So yeah, I kind of want to go into Deli Bird again. I'm gonna end up leading Deli Bird. If Talonflame does come in there, that's fine. I could also go into a Pokemon like you. I could go Volcarona, or I could just go straight Dragonite. Could also go straight Dragonite. I kind of want to go Volcarona here. Mm, Deli Bird could be a lead. Deli Bird's such a problem. It is such a problem. Hate that thing. I might just go Golden Go again. Maybe set up a Nasty Pot if we can. I mean, that's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. I'm gonna go Deli Bird. I'm gonna go Golden Go. I am going to bring Dragonite. And I think I'm just gonna bring. Tusk again. Right? Yeah, it seems like our best play. So we're going to leave Volcarona and Mousehold. We're bringing the exact same team. Trying to look for a winning record. Get after it that way. But yeah, I forgot to even mention. How'd you guys enjoy the Super Bowl? I was watching it. Kind of disappointed. I was I was rooting for the Eagles, but Chiefs ended up winning. But it was an amazing Super Bowl. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. I know a lot of people are going to be complaining about that, uh, that last minute call. That, that flag. I know a lot of people are going to be complaining about it. <laughs> but they end up going in with Great Tusk and Talon Talonflame. But Talon Talonflame is going to come out here and... Huh, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? I want to rip into you with the Hydro Pump. That's definitely what I want to do. And you know what? I'm just going to protect here. I'm just going to protect because it seems like a free Tailwind into an EQ play for him. Just terrifying for me. I could have swapped uh, Golden Go, but I don't like this. He's gonna Trasalize. If it's in the ground, that kind of hurts because I think that takes out my Delibird with EQs. Yeah. See, this is why I like to have Delibird with Focus Ash. Because I think Delibird just dies out here. I think Delibird is a goner. But I protect my Golden Go. I think it's Tailwind, right? It's gotta be Tailwind here. Yep, Tailwind into EQ. Bye bye, Deli Deli Bird. Can you soak it up? Oh, you out speed? Even if, dude, this thing cooks. And of course, this thing Sash. This thing cooks. This thing cooks. He's cooking. My boy's cooking. He's cooking. Wow. That's a surprise. Booster Energy Core Drive. This thing out speeds. And now he's going to die. It would be amazing if he gets off one more turn, but I doubt that. Oh, it's soaked anyway. It's soaked anyway. So from here, I'm just going to Icy Wind because I know we outspeed. And if I can get off a Shadow Ball, I'll take a Shadow Ball. I don't want to Thrash Slice. I'll just leave Golden Go in here. I will just leave Golden Go in here. But that is insane. That is insane. That Deli Deli Bird outspeeds. Brave Bird comes out here. And yeah, that hurts right there. Now he's going to pick up the double kill. I don't think I thought that turn fully through. I was thinking Deli Bird was uh, just picking up KOs. But yeah, I'm dead here. Yeah, did not think that one fully through, but I don't think we're sitting in a bad spot here. Yeah, we're dead all day. Dead all day. I should have just swapped my uh my golden go into Dragonite. But I think we're chilling fine here. I really do. Because now I pull out Dragonite, I can E speed if I want to. Um I could Terrasalize. But the problem here is going to be getting rid of that Talonflame. Talonflame seems like it's gonna be a problem. So I bring out the Dragonite. Great Tusk also gonna come out here. I feel like I have to close combat that thing down. <laughs> I mean, E-Speed 100% here. The KO, and then... Do I send my Terra? I don't think I send my Terra just yet. I could protect. Start wasting out Tailwind turns. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna... Uh, I'm just gonna protect here. Because the Brave Bird has to be coming after me. And he might even protect too. 
knowing that Dragon Edge Rock E-Speed. So I protect my Great Tusk. Let's see what he ends up doing. He ends up doing nothing, so his Great Tusk dies out. And I'm thinking, if I had to guess, Talonflame has to be ripping into my Great Tusk with the Brave Bird. And it's got to be the play. And then from there, I could Thrasilize next turn and just try to start chipping through some damage. Yep, we do protect. But yeah, I don't know what I was thinking last turn. I'm trying to, like, I was thinking Deli Bird just outspeeds everybody, but I totally forgot about the Talon Flame, really. <laughs> but he ends up throwing out T-Tar. Sandstorm's gonna come out. Uh, this kind of ruins my ter Terra. Actually, no. So I'll just Terrorize my Great Tusk. And... Hmm. I think I'd rather get rid of... Get rid of this thing, right? I mean, I can always E-Speed it next turn. I'm just gonna Ice Spinner start chipping up. And I'm just gonna Terrasilize and pop a free EQ. EQs are free right now. Let's run it. We could also go for a close combat. But I think he I think he potentially Terrasilizes. He might Terrasilize T-Tar. He might Terrasilize T-Tar. Yeah, it's gonna be a flying T-Tar, isn't it? Actually, no, you can't Terrasilize. He has Great Tusk. He already Terrasilized Great Tusk. Huge. 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 We like that. We like that. He already Terrasilized. So he's forced to stay. As I thought he was going to Terrasilize into flying and just screw me over. Great Bird flies here. This is exactly why we Terrasilize. So it wouldn't be super effective. And now we get an after. Now we get an after. Rockside's going to fly here. I can deal with that. Just no flinches, right? No flinches. No flinches. None. Not one. EQ's cooking out here. And how much damage are we doing to that T-Tar? I know T-Tar is a bit bulky on the defensive side, but I'm hoping we can pick up KO maybe. How we do? Mm. Not enough, but Ice Spinner's gonna fly here. Is that KO? It does. That does indeed KO. Okay. Huh. This is a solid battle, because we already know who's coming out here. It's gonna be Houndston. Their Tailwind is gone. They can set up another one if they want. And it's just gotta be Houndstone, right? It has gotta be. It is Houndstone. Houndstone comes in here. I wish I had Protect. I have to E-Speed that thing down. And do I just go for Headlong Rush here? We have to do as much damage as we can to this thing. Let's do it. Let's do it. E-Speed's gonna fly here. We chip up some damage. Another E-Speed KOs. And Lance Respect can come out here. Can we eat this? We don't eat that. God dang Houndstone. Coming in with Last Respects, doing some big time damage. That's going to be the game. That's pretty much the game. I was hoping I could get off one headlong rush and maybe pick up a KO. And then go on from there. And maybe having a shot at win this, but nope. Last Respects comes out there. Picks up a KO on my Great Tusk before we can even get off a shot. And that is going to be the game. Final match coming at you guys. Going up against a Don Dozo team. And I'm a little scared for the Don Dozo. We do not really have any counter Don Dozo, except we could baby Don Eyes, which could be really good with Mousehold. So maybe we should rock out with that Pokemon and look for a winning record. We're sitting one on one. That last battle made a bad play in the beginning. Hopefully we can make up for it here. But yeah, Don Dozo team with Iron Moth, Fluttermane, which is an amazing combo. And then they got King Gambit and Dragonite. Okay. How am I doing this? How am I playing this one? Like I said, I think we need Mousehold here. Mousehold can be great up against the physical attackers. I like Mousehold. I do like Mousehold, but I don't think I'm going to lead Mousehold. I really don't think I'm going to do that. I think Deli Bird is just a simple lead here, which I really like. So I'm going to go in with my Deli Deli Bird and bump, 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 bump. I could go Volcarona. How, how could you be here? You have Bug Buzz, which is pretty solid. I kind of like Volcarona here. We have Quiver Dance we want to set up. I'm all about it. We'll bring Mousehold in the back end. And then last but not least, Dragonite or my boy Tusk. Or my boy Tusk. I like Dragonite for the East speeds, but Tusk... It's just big time damage. I think I'm gonna go Tush. Super effective onto the King Gambit. Super four times super effective onto the Iron Moth. I'm gonna lock it in. I'm gonna lock it down. Let's do it. Let's do it. Seems like it's gonna be a tough one. This one seems like it's gonna be a tough one. Don Dozo. Don't really have too much to counter it. I mean, maybe we can start quiver dancing, getting after it that way. I don't know. I do not know, but baby the eyes would be our best bet. Just lowering that thing's attack and just slowly hitting it, chipping it up. They're going to end up leading Iron Maw and Flutter. Scary combo here. I can outspeed. I can pop it easy. I could go for Quiver Dance here if I want to. But I definitely have to go for 
an icy wind, just lower speed. It's a, it's a must. Iron Moth might protect, might not even stay in here, knowing Deli Bird's on the field. But again, icy wind is our play. It's a hundred percent our play. Because that will allow Volcarona to get some speed up there. And you can get some work done. 155 is the speed's up in. I could go for Quiver Dance if I want to. Look, but it's not very effective. I thought it was super effective onto the uh Flutter main. No, nah, no, nah, I got my typings mixed up. Hmm. Do I just pop a Hydro Pump instead? I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking just ripping into this, right? Now let me slow him down for turn one. No, I go for the quibs. I'm gonna go for the quiver dance. Screw it. I'm gonna go for the quiver dance here. Yep, there's protect. Good call for us. Just go into the uh, quiver dance. We will slow down the flutter mean. And I will pick up some nice boost for my uh, Volcarona. And I'm hoping Volcarona's quiver dance comes out before the flutter mean goes. Because at that point, I get a special defense boost. That could be really lovely for us. And it does. Amazing, beautiful, dope. So we got off a nice little quiver dance here. I can't hide your pump if I want to into, into that Iron Moth next turn, which I'm thinking about doing. Just get rid of that thing. And a Shadow Ball's gonna fly. Can you soak this up? You don't have Sash. Of course you die out. Is that thing orb? God dang Deli Bird. I love Deli Bird, but he needs to focus, Ash. He needs to Sash. It's an absolute must. It's an absolute must. Okay, from here, I just go into you, right? I mean, you outspeed that Flutter Man. We know that. We know you outspeed that Flutter Man. And I can just protect my Volcarona here. And just pop an EQ. It's free. I could Terrasize if I want to, but I'm going to save my ter uh, Terra. I'm going to save my Terra. Because again, we outspeed. Actually, I think we might need a Terra here. Just so we can make sure we pick up the KO onto the Flutter Main. I think I'm with that. I think I'm with that. Just so we can guarantee this KO right here. Pop a nice level EQ. Yeah, we are going to send our Terra there and just straight up protect our Volcarona. Because Volcarona is kind of a threat here as well. It's definitely kind of a threat. It's sitting here plus one on speed, special attack, and special defense. He might target it down too. But Great Tusk is going to outspeed everybody besides the Iron Moth right now. Which is huge. Which is big time. It's big time. So we end up to Rasslize and we protect our Volcarona. We're going to hope that they attack my Volcarona slot. Let's see, Heat Wave comes in here. No burns on my on my tusk. No burns on my tusk. Leave my tusk alone. Leave it alone. No burns. Wow, that did some big time damage. No burns come out there and beautiful. This should be an easy double kill here. Unless one of them sash. But yeah, we definitely say bye-bye to Fluttermane. So Fluttermane dies out here. That's exactly why we terrestrialize. And that's four times super effective. And it picks up the KO over onto the Iron Wall. So I like that. I like that. That's exactly why we Terrasalize. We just want to make sure we cleared the field. I know Iron Moth wasn't a problem considering it was four times super effective, but Fluttermane had a shot at uh, eating that up if we didn't Terrasalize. So now I got Quiver Dance Volcarona on the field. He's forced to throw out Danto, so I hate this game. Don't like it one bit. And Tasugiri comes out here. Mm. I have Super Fang. Oh, I do have Super Fang. I do have Super Fang. I saw baby doll eyes. Uh, mm. Just play here. I could protect and swap the Volcarona, but Volcarona, I mean, we might as well just let it die out, right? It's not going to do too much here. It's nothing crazy. I mean, actually, no, we might need it when Tatsugiri comes back out here. You know what? I am just going to protect. I think I'm just going to swap it to the mouse hold. Yeah, because I think they do go after the Great Tusk. Seeing the Great Tusk just chilling there. Doing some big time damage. I feel like they have to go after the Great Tusk. So I'm going to swap. I'm going to swap and hope he doesn't go after mouse hold. EQ is definitely an option here. And we'll see what typing they want to throw Asalize into. This is terrible. I mean, we get first turn priority with Baby Dies, which is good. And Dragon is going to come out here. Okay. I mean, I can deal with that. I feel like that terror change was just for uh, for de defensive. I don't think he's going to use it for an offensive move. Actually, maybe. I mean, Order Up's not bad. Let's see what he ends up going into. Order Up into the Great Tusk slot. So we blocked that. Uh, I think I just baby dialized this thing, right? Or do I super fang it? 
Speed still raises. I mean, you already outsped us, so... That's not a big deal. And then I think we should go for Headlong Rush. It will do the most damage on that thing. And I'm just going to baby die it. I'm just going to start lowering that thing's attack. It's first turn priority. It minus is two on attack. So his attack's back to normal. His attack is back to normal. He goes for the order up. Can we soak this? Can we soak this? Can you soak this? Let's go. That's big time baby die eyes. So from here, I can go for another baby die eyes. I mean, I just think that's our play, right? Just keep baby die eyes in that thing. And headlong rush. Doing decent amount of damage. Not too bad. And I think we just protect you. I think we just protect you, baby doll eyes, and then just start following me. I think it's leftovers. So we're just gonna start slowly chipping away at that thing. Protect, baby doll eyes. Going slow with this. I definitely wanna get off some super fangs, but I'm just gonna keep lowering that thing's attack. Just gotta keep lowering that thing's attack. We protect. Hopefully he's going after me again on that slot. Baby doll eyes flying. And next turn, I am just going to go for a straight. Oh, he goes for a wave crash into me. That's fine. You're going to take a little bit of recoil, but not do too much. That oh, wow. It actually did a huge chunk of damage. Leave me alone. That did a little bit too much damage. Did a little bit too much damage. Wow, Dantozo is a problem. Dantozo is a problem. He is a problem. We go for another headlong rush here. Do I follow me? No, I'm going to go for the Super Fangs. That wave crash did a lot of damage. He goes for another wave crash. Can you go after my... No, you go after my mouse hold. I really wanted that mouse hold. And now we're sitting in a tough spot. He's minus two. Still doing some crazy damage. There's some crazy damage here. Do we go for a headlong rush? How much damage are we doing? One more... Mm, not going to pick up the KO because of... Uh, because of the what's it called. The leftovers. I don't even know how he plays one, because Tatsugiri is going to be a problem when it comes out here. Now, oh, is just a problem. He's just a problem. He's just a problem. So, Volcarone is going to come out here. I think I have to make the correct protect call here. And I feel like he has to go after Volcarona. So, I'm going to protect Volcarona. That's our only way of winning, is making a correct protect call. Dantozo protects that. Now, he knows what to do. I'm going to have to land double protect with Volcarona. That's a smart call. I have to land double protect with Volcarona, but I still feel like we lose this one regardless. Because Wave Crash kills us one shot. Mmm. Mmm. And then Tatsugiri comes out on the field. That's just terrible. Smart play. Get some leftovers HP. We'll take some recoil damage here. And our only chance to land double protect, right? We have to land double protect. He also speeds us. Can we land it? Can I get some RNG here? Can I get some RNG from the Poke Gods? We do not. I never land over protect. I try though. <laughs> I try my best. Wave crash coming into him. This is exactly why I tried double protect net. Because we were dead regardless. We were dead regardless. He's gonna take recoil damage. I think we might be able to KO, but still, Tasugiri probably comes out here, outspeeds us, and then just picks up the win, right? Because our defense is so low right now, considering <laughs> we're just popping headlong rushes. But maybe, just maybe there's a chance we outspeed it. I don't think we do, though. I don't think we do. But Don, Don Dozo drops out there. I'm surprised it's still hitting hard like that. I'm surprised it's still hitting hard. It is minus two on attack. Actually, it might be minus, it might be minus four. How many baby dot eyes we use? I'm pretty sure baby dot eyes minus two, doesn't it? Or is it one? If it's one, then that, I, I understand. I don't even think you can check moves in this, which is ridiculous. I can't even see like what the move does. I thought it was minus two though, but still. Okay, so it comes down to this. Obviously, we want to pop a headlong rush and try to KO it, but Tatsugiri, I'm pretty sure, outspeeds. Wait a minute. We outspeed. Show me no Sash. No Sash. It has to be Sash, right? Of course it's Sash. Of course it's Sash. Focus Sash comes out here, and we lose to Tatsugiri on one HP. Unless it's going for a Draco Meteor and like, misses or something. That'd be awesome, but I highly doubt it. It was a Draco Meteor, but still, that's surprise, surprise on that. That it went for a Draco meter, because that has a high chance of missing. I would have just went for like an Icy Wind or something, like most Tatsugiris have. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and two for today's video. Third and final battle came down to the wire, and we lost to a one HP sushi fish.
Absolutely love this rank one Dragonite team. Got a one and two losing record for today's video, but still, I feel like we showcased this team really, really well into its fullest potential. The only things I would probably change would be giving that Focus Ash to that Iron Bundle. There was multiple times where Iron Bundle went down, where if it had the Focus Ash, it would have been able to turn a battle around and kind of get after it and probably get us a win. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positivity day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.